everybody very 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 warm welcome to vedantu j english and how were you all how was your bio exam by the way how many of you had bio exam and how did it go a very 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 warm welcome everyone and as you all know i am your master teacher nobhumita bhattachar ji so today we are here to 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 let you all know that there are some certain tricks okay to solve mcq however it's it's not very safe to say that you can you can apply it in every question but yes there are certain tips which we are going to talk about just so that we can we can you know the probability of us getting the rank from our j exam is even higher than what it is right now yes so everybody ready shall we begin shall we begin i'm pretty sure that with this tips and tricks you will be able to solve some of the direct questions which you might not know all right yes so let's begin everybody very good evening guys very 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 good evening how was your bio exam how did it go everyone was it great was it great and did you all miss the organic uh, session today i will try to take it tomorrow i'm again not very sure because my health is not really at the peak i have very 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 bad headache right now like i just wiped my forehead there was a lot of balm here that i had put so i'm not very sure if i'll be able to uh, you know to take the session but let's see let's see yeah i'll let you know anyway yes good evening everybody chalo let's begin time is of essence as i always tell you now that you are here to all the new students who are here for the first time do not forget to subscribe to the channel as you all know that this channel is the one stop solution for je for emsat for bitsat for for cbse as well we have helped you in the cbse exam as well so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and all of these information are provided to you in english no other language not a word of hindi not a word of any other language it's absolutely all in english okay and to those students who are here all the time who keep coming for our videos don't forget to hit the like button okay am i okay uh not really it's 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 throbbing but i promise that i'll take this session so let me just take it yeah i don't want to uh, deviate from my promise yeah <laughs> unlike the real gases anyway okay so the first step for today is putting the value now you must have seen that in the exam you often come across certain equations right where the value of the variable that they want you to find out isn't it they always want you to find out what is the value of the var variable now in these questions what you can do is you can try to substitute the values that are given to you in the options yes you have four options so try to substitute the values in the equation and then the whichever option satisfy that will be your answer that's one way if you do not know the answer if you do not know the answer however the easiest easiest way would be to study and then go for the exam but it's okay if you do not know the answer then this is one thing that you can do let's say that any equation is given to you and you do not know how to solve it really but you are also not able to get to the answer so what you do is options are there just try to put it there okay just try to use the option and derive it from the options you will get the answer theek okay? hai moving on please get your head clear about the marking scheme you all know that the marking scheme is that one important factor in the je exam right yes so carefully look out for the questions which carry negative marking yes like like match the following yes match the following has no negative marking at all isn't it so never fail to attend the os who knows you can get more uh, get the most out of it you never know what if the match the following answer is actually correct and you do get the mark right of course majority of the questions in the exam paper will definitely be of the kind where you will have negative marking but make sure that you read the instructions carefully and find out that there might also be those questions which do not have any negative marking then what you can do then you can definitely attend it no don't skip those questions yes you never know you might just get lucky yes you might just get lucky so make sure that you attend those all right apart from that tricks for units and values yes units and values also sometimes might just tell you about the answer okay they might just tell you about the answer so some questions what they do is 
they include numericals usually have negative marking see so that's why i'm saying that read the instructions carefully you will you will see which ones don't have negative marking marking which ones have negative marking you will find that out okay it will be there in the question paper so you read that carefully anyway now coming to the tip number 3 everybody your tip number 3 is some questions include units and values for example in a question of heat and thermodynamics there are options that are given to you as uh, you know 70 c 70 degree celsius 50 kelvin 80 degree celsius 50 degree celsius now in these cases do you see that the answer is the unit mentioned in three options and the value mentioned twice therefore 50 c will be the answer at as it has unit degree celsius this is probably the answer okay this is probably the answer all right guys do you understand this is probably the answer because it is mentioned twice it is mentioned twice with just different units with just dif different units here it is kelvin here it is degree celsius so it was kind of a common sense a logical question where you just had to find out the unit and you could figure out the answer as well all right yes so make sure that you check it out yes i mean it will it might not be as simple as this okay might not be as simple as this but you know the level of the je exam right you know the level of the je exam so just check it out maybe you will find something like this and maybe you'll get lucky yeah your tip number 4 everybody is dimensional analysis is your friend in crime yes is your partner in crime we can say okay so if you know the dimensions yes if you know the dimensions knowing the dimension is a very handy guessing trick at least for the physics section okay because je main uh, physics section it involves many dimension based questions isn't it there are a lot of dimension based questions so if you know the dimensions properly then you might be able to solve most of the physics question as well all right now once again guys these might not be the uh, might not be the short short ways your short short way to get through j is definitely study but uh, let's just say you are also hoping to be a little lucky and uh, you know get to the uh, get to your dream rank then this might be one of the sessions that you would like to watch before you go for the exam is that okay will you all do that moving on from here now how I just told you that yeah, physics exam has a lot of dimension-based question. But what exactly do I mean? What I mean to say is, let's say that there is a question in which you have to find a velocity of an electromagnetic field. All right, yes, with some weird orientation that is given. The field values are given as B and E, and the options are 2E b to the power half, 2B by E. 2e by b, 2b by e to the power half. Now we know that dimension of electric field are this, okay? M L t to the power minus 3 a to the power minus 1, and we also know that dimension of magnetic field are M L to the power 0 t minus t, that not minus sorry t to the power minus 2. It should be to the power minus 2. This should be to the power minus 2 and a to the power minus 1, right? Now when we know this, e by b will give us what? E by b will give us the dimension of velocity, which is l to the power one, t to the power minus one, right? Yes, and we do not need the square root as it will lead to the root of velocity. To do we need that, guys? Will we need that, everybody? Are you guys understanding what I'm saying? Do you understand when I'm talking about dimension, everybody? Yes or no? So in this case, our answer will probably be our answer will be two e by b. Okay, our answer will be two e by b because as we see, l to the power one and t to the power minus one. That means this is definitely this is basically this. Okay, l to the power one and t to the power one. This is what we mean. Okay, this is what we mean. So that means two e by b makes sense. This makes sense to us is that right is that right are you understanding everybody see from the dimension you could solve it otherwise this was not making this was making this was looking absurd 
bizarre, strange, right? We were not able to figure out what exactly is that what they're trying to say because they have given us some weird, you know, weird alphabets. E, B, who measures it like this? But see, now that we know the dimension, because we know the dimension, we could easily solve it. Yes, everybody. Make sense or nonsense, guys? Can I have some interaction in the chat? Otherwise, my head is paining so much that I'll probably just go and sleep right now. Yes, guys, make sense? Make sense? Understanding? Yes? Yeah, great. Okay. Yes, amazing. Moving on to the tip number five. Your tip number five, everybody, is probability does not work, my dear student. If you are thinking that, tukka we will do, just like that we will guess and we will answer, aha, no. Don't do that for your JE exam, especially when you have such, when you have negative marking, bro. More than getting the marks, you'll be losing it out. Yes? So before you learn to learn tricks for MCQ of JE, please know that probability is not the way to do it. No. No. It's not like you are playing cards. You are not playing a game of cards. No. If you're playing, if you're trying to do that, you will rather be playing with your life. It's your dream, isn't it? It's your dream, not mine. Not mine. I'm done with it. Yeah? It's your dream. If it is your dream, don't just play with it, my dear student. Probability won't work. You can, I mean, you can try, but do you really think that you can randomly guess all of them correct? So all of this tukka strategy and those things don't work. Don't work. Understand that out of the four options, out of the four options, do you know what is your chance of getting a correct answer? 25% my dear student, just 25%. Do you really want to take 25%, 25%, 25% chance 25 on every question and just mess it all up? Hell no. We don't want to do that with our dream opportunity. Is that right? Is that right? So that's exactly what I need you all to do. Okay. Do not just guess. The guessing game won't work there. Anyway, your tip number six, everybody is. Okay. Your tip number six. I know I have, I'm holding pens, but yeah. Tip number six is. Some topic related tricks, okay? Now, one of the critical J main tricks is to uh, identify the topics. That will help you fetch maximum marks. You know, a lot of times in this January attempt, I have seen that uh, a lot of students, when they, when they try and tell you about the memory-based questions that we try to solve, right? The question paper we solve, isn't it? Memory-based question paper we solve. I've seen that many of the students, they are not even able to identify that which topic it is coming from. Do you really think it's going to help you? No. No. Focus on the chapters. Make sure you identify the topic that is going to help you fetch maximum marks. Because you know that there are certain topics which have the highest possibility of being there in the exam. For example, I haven't I told you from chemistry that from P block elements, you can expect a question from the xenon compounds. You can expect a com a, you can expect a, co a question from oxo acids or phosphorus or sulfur. Yeah, because it's the most repetitive question. The most repetitive question every year you will find that one or two questions are from there. I have told you about DNF block also. From DNF block, the most commonly uh, you know, most common common answer that you can get is lanthanoid contraction. Yes. So once you identify the topic, you know that you can also predict that yes, this is a most repeated question. And from there, when you try to solve it, there is a higher chance of you getting the marks. For physics relating to uh, atoms, nuclei, radiation, thermodynamics, so both physics and chemistry, understanding is very important. Yes, understanding is very, very, very important. I'm not talking about just physics. Actually, modern physics relating to atoms, nuclei, radiation. Okay, 
थर्मोडायनेमिक्स फॉर बोथ फिजिक्स एंड केमिस्ट्री नो द डिफरेंस गाइज नो द डिफरेंस यू नो दैट थर्मोडायनेमिक्स वैन इट गोज टू फिजिक्स एंड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स वैन इट कम्स टू केमिस्ट्री देर आर लॉड ऑफ साइन चेंजेस डोंट मेस इट अप डोंट मेस इट अप येस येस ऑल राइट एनी वे मूविंग ऑन फ्रॉम यर आवर टिप नंबर सेवन इज टिप नंबर सेवन इज मेंटेनिंग कामनेस येस आई मीन there are so many times when i've seen that the student has prepared very well that the student is done with pretty much 100% of the topic but just because of panic or panic attacks guys he or she was not able to sit in the exam throughout and that guilt that you will feel right that just because of the panic attack i was not able to do this even though your preparation was on point yeah that guilt is very hard to get over with so you maintain calmness you get a strong understanding of the question and then just proceed to solve it also time management is very essential i keep telling the students this that time management is very important time management is very important in fact you know what i'm going to plan a session for you 100 questions on v quiz or menti we will do i'll give you 2 to 2 minutes time we will see if we can solve everything okay i am planning this me and shreya sir shreya sir and i we are both planning this okay we will try to bring a a session of 100 questions yes 100 questions All right. Yes, bacha. We will we will cover that. Okay. Hundred questions we will solve, and uh, that too we will do it on V quiz or Menti, so that there is a timer for every question. There is a timer, and we can solve it in the right time time frame. Just so that it helps you in this time management. Okay. Just so that it helps you in the time management, and you don't the scope of making silly mistake is reduced. Okay. We will do that. and that's all for today guys with the seven tips that i have told you i hope that it made a little sense to you and i hope that you are feeling a little more confident after this session do not forget to like share and subscribe with your uh, with your friends everybody and with this note everyone all the very best take a little rest yes if i'm feeling absolutely on point then i will try my best to take the session because tomorrow i have planned actually two very big sessions so i'm not very sure how i'm going to feel tomorrow because today it seems like a really really hard time that i'm having okay from where can we attend week quiz uh, we will bring it bacha it will be on the session week quiz is the free uh, quiz platform of vidantu okay week quiz is the free quiz platform of vidantu so we will try to do it on that because every question has uh, you know every question can be given a timer we can have a timer for every question maybe 2 minutes or maybe 1 minute we can do that so we will try doing it just so that you have a practice of how much time you are getting to solve every question right we will do that okay with this note tata bye bye good night everyone and see you all the very best guys all the very best see you